Have you ever wished that you could play fully on a keyboard? Like, instead of putting all the files in manually, you could just, you know, press buttons on your keyboard and use that to sync up your Foley? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So this idea isn't new or original to me in any way. In fact, DaVinci Resolve has a Foley keyboard built in or a Foley sampler built in that you can do this. However, I'm gonna show you a way to do this with a free VST plugin that'll work in any DAW. All you need is just some kind of MIDI controller. In this case, I'm using this little Akai MPK Mini. It's pretty cheap, pretty easy to get, um, but any type of MIDI device will work with this as long as you can get it uh, working as long as you have a DAW that supports MIDI pretty much. So the free plugin we're going to be using to do this is called Satala. Satala is a free sampling plugin. It's designed as a drum sampler. However, it's pretty generic as far as samplers go, which means it will work for just about any kind of sampling, including fully sampling. And it's also a VST plugin. And I believe there's a Pro Tools version as well, so you can use it in any DAW. It's totally free and open, uh, which makes it really great. So this is the taller right here. Right now, this is just kind of the default, what's loaded up. It's got a 808 in there. Get some cowboy. So this is kind of the default setup. Like I said, it's designed as a drum sampler, but again, it works as literally anything. So I'm just gonna go here and go to a new kit. And now I can load any sample in here I want. So let's say I want, and you can see my clip right here. Let's see, I'm wearing sneakers, walking on, snow so let's load some snow samples now all these samples i'm going to load are from my outdoor footfalls sound effects pack these are something that i put together for my patreon supporters so if you go to my patreon you can uh, download all of these so let's see this snow thin speaker sneaker sorry and i'm just going to load all of these onto the white keys just to make it a little easier for myself yeah, all these samples are available on my Patreon, so if you support me on Patreon, you can download these. And also, I have a ton of other sound effects packs on there as well. I'm releasing a new one every month. So if you want to build out your sound effects library with some new and interesting effects, it's definitely a pretty great and affordable way to do that. Now, another cool feature of Satala is that you also have some options for altering the samples. So I'm going to load up another sample here. And let's just say, so you can see this pack comes with quite a few samples, um, but let's say I only have a limited number of samples. So I'll just load the second one again. And normally if you just repeat the same sample over and over, it gets really repetitive. Like if I just play these two, like if you play the same one over and over, it gets repetitive, that should be pretty obvious. But you, what you can do here is if you just take one sample and load it multiple times, you can just slightly change the pitch of the sample. And when you change the pitch, just even a little slight, just a couple cents of pitch variation can be enough that it tricks your brain into thinking it's a different sound and it doesn't get so repetitive. This is a really common trick in video games. They might only have two or three footstep sounds, but every time you, every time it plays a footstep, there's just a very slight timing or pitch difference. And it's enough to kind of trick our brain into thinking that it's not repetitive, even though it is. So this is just a trick. If you have a limited number of samples, you can just, reload the same sample multiple times and just do really slight pitch changes. And that will kind of be enough to trick your brain into thinking that they're unique samples. Okay, so now I've got all these samples loaded in. All I have to do is just hit these white keys on my keyboard. And as long as I keep triggering a new key, I can keep triggering a new sample in sync with the picture. So. And another thing I'll point out here is that now that we have all these samples loaded in, I can also just go ahead and save this kit. And that way I can reload it later and I don't have to recreate the same sound effects loaded in every time. I could just reload this kit and I will have access to all these samples in a different session. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play back this clip and I'm just gonna press the keys and sync with the footsteps on screen. Another thing, I'll just show this clip really quickly just to show something. It's just me walking down a sidewalk. But as you can see, as I get closer to the camera, eventually you can't see my feet anymore. So how do you sync up the footsteps if you can't see the feet? Well, one way is just to kind of follow the rhythm of the footsteps. But another way is you can see, if you watch my shoulders, my shoulders kind of drop down as I'm walking and that's normal. Anybody who walks does that. 
So if you can't see someone's feet, just follow their shoulders. As their shoulders drop, that indicates a footstep. So that's a way to sync the footsteps if you can't see someone's feet. But anyway, let me just go through and sync this up really quick. Okay, so we got our footsteps in here, and now if I play back, it's a decent sync. And it will sound a little off, that's just because we're listening to this close-up footstep sound. I haven't added any reverb, I haven't like adjusted the volume or the pan or anything, so it'll sound off, but hopefully you still should get an idea of like it is in sync. But kind of something that's annoying right now is that this footstep sound doesn't sound right. It's designed as a thin snow, and yeah, there's a little bit of thin snow on the ground, but it's kind of mostly melted and wet. It doesn't really like translate to what it looks like on screen. So the fix for that is really easy. I already have all of the MIDI here synced in, so all I have to do to fix that is literally just load in a new kit. So I already have this sneaker concrete kit. So this is sneakers on concrete. There's a bit of snow, but let's see if this works. It's a little bit better, but it still doesn't sound totally right. So let me load it in a kit. Um, I think I have a kit that's like snow and ice on concrete. So now I have another kit loaded in. And again, the only difference here is that I've just loaded in a different bank of samples. I don't have to resync all of these or anything. They're already synced because it's all MIDI. And all I have to do is just, again, swap out those samples, swap out that kit. And now I have a different sound that I can try and see if it works. Okay, so that's better, but I think what I actually want to do is when I'm on this snow here, I want this snow sound here, but when I'm on when I like move over to walking on this concrete, I want that concrete sound. So all I have to do to do that is I'm just going to I'm just going to create another track and set it up really quick and just pull over Satala. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look for my footstep where I move over. Um, okay, so that's like my first step. So I'm just gonna split this, drag it down to this new track. And then um, on this other track, I'm going to swap in my concrete sound. So that way, again, it's already all synced, but I've just swapped it. So now I have my snow footsteps when I'm on snow, and then I switch to the concrete footsteps when I go to concrete. Again, it's not the best. Um, one, the only big issue is that this concrete sound is like not a wet concrete sound. I don't think I have any wet concrete samples in the pack, unfortunately. So it's kind of the closest I've got in that pack, although you could load samples from any pack. You don't have to use my sound samples, but it's good. It works well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do all of the actual mixing part of this, so mix out the scene so you can see how these footsteps land within the scene. And again, this was super fast. It took me, so it's like a 10 second clip or so, it took me 10 seconds to sync all of the Foley because all I had to do was just hit the keys on my keyboard and sync and it's done. And if you need to fix it at all, you know, you don't have to go in there and like move files. You can either just like re-record it or you can just go in here and you can just move these MIDI notes a little bit to get it into sync. So it's way easier than going through and trying to put files in manually one by one and sync them one by one. Just do it with MIDI because it's so fast and easy. It just gets the job done right away, which there's really, like time is money, especially in the creative industry, you're being paid by the hour. And if you can get something done a lot faster, that means that you can save your employer a lot of money, but it means you can spend less time on the project and move on to other projects. So it's a really, really time-saving type of workflow. But anyway, let me go through, and I'm just gonna, like I said, mix out this scene, and so you can see what it looks like fully mixed. Um, one thing I am gonna do is, I am actually gonna take this MIDI and I'm gonna record it to an audio track, so it'll actually be saved as audio. That just makes it a little easier to mix and means you don't have to worry about um, 
sessions, like the MIDI getting messed up or anything, sometimes that can happen, or you can have weird latency issues with MIDI. So it's better if your DAW supports it to just record it out to an audio track. That way you have it saved as an audio clip and it's easier to like send it to someone else for their session. If you know, you have, maybe you're doing the sound editing and someone else is doing the mixing, sending them a MIDI file is pretty much useless. So it's a good idea to record it out to audio, but anyway, I'm gonna record it out to audio. And like I said, just mix out the whole thing so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so I got this all mixed. It is a rough mix, but I'll play it back and you can kind of hear how everything sounds a lot much better and fluid once it's mixed even just a little bit. Um, there are a couple sounds if you hear, especially one of my first concrete footsteps. There's a pretty like hard heel there that sounds kind of off. I would probably replace that. But again, if I wanna replace that, I don't have to totally redo it. I can either just swap out that individual sample in my sampler, or I can uh, just like change that MIDI. So just drag that MIDI note to a different note so it's triggering a different sample and that's fixed. So again, it's really easy, like stupid easy to fix any potential issues. All you have to do is just a little bit of swapping. You just go through it once, get it in sync, and then you can tweak it to your heart's content really easily. So that's that's why I like this technique so much, and that's why I really wanted to show it to you guys. But if you like this video, if you learned something useful, if you think this is a useful technique for you, definitely hit that like button. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down in the comments down below. And as always, if you wanna see more videos like this one, definitely hit that subscribe button.